Good afternoon. Happy Easter. Please rise and lend your voice to our entrance hymn number 276. The strife is over, number 276. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kinder the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn. 
by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Many signs and wonders were done among the people at the hands of the apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the others dared to join them, but the people esteemed them. Yet more than ever, believers in the Lord, great numbers of men and women were added to them. Thus they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow may f might fall on one or another of them. A large number of people from the towns in the vicinity of Jerusalem also gathered, bringing the sick and those disturbed by unclean spirits, and they were all cured. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you the distress, the kingdom, and the endurance we have in Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as a trumpet which said, write on a scroll what you see. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands in the midst of the lampstand one like a son of man, wearing an ankle-length robe with a gold sash around his chest. When I caught sight of him, I fell down at his feet as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, the one who lives. Once I was dead, now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write down, therefore, what you have seen and what is happening and what will happen afterwards. The word of the Lord.
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening. How wonderful for us to be together in the house of God on this most holy night. Spiritually, we are united to those disciples who were there in the upper room with the doors locked. And all of a sudden, Jesus is present in our midst. This story of Doubting Thomas is one that I've always found so incredibly human. We desire to be able to see things for ourselves, to be able to touch, to be able to be in the presence of one another, to simply take one for their word is often not enough. But we desire to experience things for ourselves. Remember, as a child, we as a family often did not go on vacation other than camping here or there, and the few vacations where we went someplace other than a lake are quite memorable. We went to the Wisconsin Dells once. We went to St. Paul once. We went to Milwaukee once. I remember that trip to Milwaukee in which we went to the zoo. I was just a wee little lad, and 
so often I would have to say, I, I, I need a boast. Lift me up, let me see, I would cry out so that I could have a better vantage to be able to bear witness to the plethora of animals with my own eyes. Thomas here, he wants to see. Others have told him them about seeing Christ, but he had not. He said, I would not believe unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my fingers into those nail marks, my hand in his side. It was Jesus who comes to him, extends his hand so that he may believe. Tonight, we will be invited to form a procession down the main aisle like we have done countless times, standing before our Lord made manifest in the Most Holy Eucharist, hearing the minister proclaim the body of Christ. And we will be invited to welcome Christ into our life in a new and profound way. Sometimes we get caught up in the busyness of life and even coming to church can become just another thing we need to get done, another thing we need to sit through. But tonight, may we approach the Eucharist with eyes renewed, with eyes of faith as we celebrate this most holy Easter Sunday. And when we hear those words, the body of Christ, may we respond with great faith Amen. And welcome that love into our hearts as we welcome Christ inside of us. May we tonight encounter the love of Christ. before our Lord, we unite our hearts together in prayer as we proclaim what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living in the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Thankful for the many gifts and blessings that Christ has shared with us, most especially thankful for the gift of his most holy Eucharist, let us now bring forth our prayers of petition to Christ the Most High. That on this Divine Mercy Sunday, the Church will rededicate herself to living and proclaiming Christ's mercy. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of governments will work to ensure that all people can live in peace with the freedom to worship God and pursue holiness. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and to consecrated life, especially from our own parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by sin, that the grace of the resurrection would move them to receive God's mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those trapped in confusion or doubt, that they may be filled with the truth and the light of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our first communicants, that they may never lose the zeal and enthusiasm of receiving the love of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Most Holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions inscribed in our book of prayer, in our prayer baskets, and lifted to Jesus in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, especially the intention of this Mass, Eleanor Cotella. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we, your beloved children, lift these prayers up to you through Christ our Lord.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, one prayer request, um, please uh, keep me in prayer uh, next week. Um, I'll be heading out of town on Monday uh, for a week-long retreat. Uh, don't worry, I'll be back uh, for next Saturday. But if you think of it throughout the week, if you could say a prayer for me, uh, be sure I'll be holding you all in my prayers too. Uh, please do continue to check the bulletin each week. We've got so many wonderful things happening. Uh, uh, so do be sure to read it. Um, there's... Uh, Great things are happening all around us. Now, today is, of course, a Low Sunday, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday, in which we remember uh, the great love revealed uh, to us um, through St. Faustina. Extended unto us is that special indulgence, as well as that promise of Faustina um, to those who... Uh, um, fulfill the requirement by uh, confession, Eucharist, and prayers for the Holy Father. And so at this time, I would invite one and all to please kneel as we offer prayers um, for our Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God.